everyone it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel today I have a brand new art journaling tutorial and it's in collaboration with Joggles and I'm really excited to showcase some of the products that are actually on being featured this month it's first it's starting with uh, new disc bound uh, watering coloring journal which is amazing and I want to show you how to put one of the pages together and putting it apart. So this is a desk bound journal. The papers are really, really thick and I've used this one in other art journaling projects, but I wanted to show you the new one, which is a six by nine that just came out from Joggles. And it's so easy to put together and take apart so you can create any art journal projects that you want. All you do is click it into the discs. It's really, really easy. And when you're going to work with the project, all you do, see it's like a book. So it's really easy to use it. And when you want to work on a project, all you do is just basically you take it apart. And you could work on just the one side, or you could do a double page journal as well by taking two of them and working together. So I'm going to take two of them. I'm not actually sure what I want to do. To tell you the truth, I'm gonna be experimenting with these new products. These are Marabou, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Marabou pro, uh, products. I have a few sprays. These are mixed media sprays, ink sprays, I'll show you. They are art spray, acrylic spray. It's an acrylic spray for mixed media. And I have three colors, so I'm going to experiment. This one is called Apple. There is cherry red and silver. So we'll see what I come up. It's not usually the colors that I would pick. So it's hard sometimes to work with colors that are not the ones that you're going to use. I'm going to also work with some of these crayons. These are art crayons for mixed media and I'm excited to test them out. So let's see what happens. Um, this is more of an experiment than anything else. And I want to create an art journal. This is why art journaling is great because you can experiment with things to see how they will react with other products. And that's what I love about mixed media, just experimenting. And I encourage everyone to experiment. And I'm gonna let you know how what I think about these as well, almost like a review. Oh, and another thing I'm going to be using is this really nice new uh, watercolor die cut. This is the tr one of the trees, and these is, are also by Joggles. They laser cut kind of chipboard like, but they're the same watercolor paper as the actual journal. So I'm going to use one of one or a couple of these trees. Let's see. I haven't decided what I want to do, so I'm just going to get started and experiment. And I will list all the products below. So all of these products from Joggles are listed below in the description area. Okay, so what I thought to do is experiment with the jelly plate, the gel plate. This is a gel press plate. I think it's an eight by 10. And I thought, huh, I wonder if the sprays would, how would the sprays work on this? I don't know. I just want to test it and experiment. So let's see how this goes. I don't know. This is my first time using sprays on a gel plate. So I hope this works. We're going to try. And I'm going to be using a few of the joggle stencils. We'll start with something like this. This looks really cool. So let's try and see if we can do some monoprinting with these sprays. Okay. So just to do you know, this one is called Wander. And it fits perfectly here, so it will cover the whole thing. I mean, this paper is a little bit smaller. So yeah that's okay all right perfect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start one maybe just with one color and i'm going to start with the green and i'm going to just basically spray it truthfully it would look really cool to just have it like this but i will put the stencil on top just because i need to figure out how to use this. This is all an experiment, as I said. So here is this. So one of the pages will be through the stencil and the other one will have that negative space. So let's see how that turns out. Oh, I, I mean, obviously you're gonna get this and maybe I put too much spray on this, so that's okay. 
but I'm going to put the second page. I'm going to remove this and put it on top. And let's see how that turns out. Oh yeah, well, I mean, texture is great. I love the texture. Let's just get a little bit of it in the edges. Just clean this all up. And what I want to do is for this one, I could even grab a third page, truthfully. There's so much here, so much of this still left. Mm -hmm. You could even do a third page. So maybe I should do that because, or maybe I should just grab just some blank printer paper page. Just to soak up what I have. This could be used later for something else. So now I have two different, okay, this is perfect. Okay, good. So there's that. I'm gonna clean this up. Clean up my mess everywhere. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I'm gonna try to figure it out. You know what, I have an idea in my head of what I want to do, but you know me, like things don't, don't always go the way I want them. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. And I never know with mixed media how they're going to turn out. Next color I'm going to use is the red, but I need to use a different stencil. Maybe this one. This one is called uh, Unchained Mask, which is brilliant. So this time I think I'm going to spray through the mask just for the fun of it. I just want to experiment. Okay, and I might not spray as much as before. I wonder if the brayer would work too. I might do that. These so far I really like I really like these. They're they're really nice and luscious. The colors are really dark and really, really nice. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. I'm going to add these like this. This might be Ooh, look at that. I love that. Oh, I love this. Hold on. I just go to the corners here a bit. And a bit in these corners over here. I just want to get the whole thing. Oh, wow. That looks really cool. Okay, let's lift this up. This is going to be a bit more subtle. get some of this on this corner the nice thing is that I can go around and kind of grab those nice edges oh I like this a lot okay good so I have two sets and then let me get the third one which is oops the one from the paper let me just soak this up I don't want to I don't want to waste, as I said. And this is just regular printer paper. Yeah, it's not giving me as huge of a mark, but that's okay. I don't mind. I love it that at least on the watercolor paper, it gave me a good impression. Okay, a new stencil. <sighs> I like these, this one a lot. But this might be a little bit different. This will look a little bit different. I don't know how it will turn out. This one is called Sunflower. Should we do this? I'm trying to figure out, should we do the silver one on this one? I think that would look cool. Okay, let's try and do the silver. This time I'll spray in the background. It's kind of a grayish silver. I smell really good okay so I'm gonna put it on top like this 
And let's see what comes up. So I'm going to start here. Hope the silver shows. We'll see what comes up. You never know. That's the beauty of this. Oh, you can't you can't really see it that well, but it still gave a nice texture to it. it smells like acrylic paint. Well, you can't really see the 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 little sunflowers. It just kind of went everywhere. So that's okay. That's not what I was expecting. I still love this stencil. I might just use it to spray. So I've never done I've never done this with like sprays. I've always done it with paints, but since these are acrylic sprays, I thought, you know what? Let's try. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I decided to grab a couple more pages from the journal, and I'm also going to do the back of this journal, the back of these pages. And I'm, then I'm going to pick the pages that I love the most to create our journal. So this is nice. That's why you could get a lot of mono printing done, and then you can pick the ones you love. So to do that, I'm going to do a little bit of a different technique. I'm going to spray this everywhere. And then I'm going to grab my brayer, and I'm going to spread almost like I do with the paint. The nice thing about the this ink is that it stays wet, right? So you can keep this wet for a little while. And then I'm going to grab one of these texture stamps from Joggles. These are texture stamps, and I will tell you the name of this one in a second. And I'm going to just stamp and create a pattern with them. These pages are already really, really full, so there's really no space for adding any more. I actually tried it before. I know the technique works, but I just couldn't get it to go on. So I'm gonna try the blank side. I want to see how this works out. So there's nothing wrong with doing the back of a journal because you can use that one as well, right? So it works out really nice that way. Oh, and look how cool that is. Perfect. That turned out great. And I'm going to use this to stamp here because I don't want to waste anything, like as I said. Beautiful, you can even stamp with it. I'm going to stamp again. I'm not really sure what I want to do with these pages, so I'm just creating them and then figuring it out later on. So that's good. I love these texture stamps. I'm going to use the edge of this and the edge of this to just soak up the rest of it. Okay, so there I have another version of it. No, I like cleaning in between only because it's they're opposite colors on the scale spectrum. And I think I want to do this again. I actually didn't even use this new one, but I will now. I'm going to take another texture paste, and not test texture paste, texture stamp. This is a cool one. This is called Dash Dot. What was the other one called? Let me just tell you. This one was the Cyclone. Okay, there we go. Now you have names for them. And I'm going to use the other color that I have. So I do only have two colors because that's what I was sent. It would have been cool if I would have had other colors as well. But obviously this will work with any colors. Okay, for the next color, I'm going to add the red one. I mean, the cherry one. I'm going to do the same thing. This looks good. And this way I'm going to go the long ways. You never know what's going to happen. It's almost like a Russian roulette. You don't know how it's going to turn out. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is very cool. I like that a lot. Let's see if we can add it to this and I'm going to add it the opposite way. So it adds a little bit of interest. 
think I might have to stamp also with this. You know, I wonder if I can stamp with the rest of it. Yeah, there we go. And just, I'll stamp it on this and get the negative image. So you can play around, obviously, with, with all of it and see what you get. You never know what you get, right? Oh, cool. I like that. I want to add the silver, but the silver barely shows. I wonder if we could add a little bit more of the red. I'm going to add a little bit more of the red on this one with a different stamp. So let's see. And this time, I'm going to take it off here. Might as well do that and not waste that. Okay, so now I have one more that I really think I want to use. It's these ones with the dots. It's Bubble Blast. These are really cool. So I'm excited about this. These are texture stamps. Oops. So you can use either stamps or stencils for these and to create really cool textures. And to stamp on this one as well. There we go. Just because Wow, that's cool. I love this. I think now it needs green again. These are turning out really cool. Okay, so I'm going to use these two pages. I tried, experimented with the other pages and something didn't work out. So I'm not even going to show you that, but I'm going to experiment with these. I have an idea of what to do. I want to kind of cover the white areas. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take two colors of the crayons and I'm going to basically, they're very smooth and really, really luscious. So I'm going to basically cover everything around me, basically at the edges and even some in the center as well with these two colors. And then you'll see what I'll do with it. It adds a really cool texture to it. You'll see what I mean. So I'm going to use the two colors to cover. You can still see the pattern in the background, which is nice. And these crayons, they're very, very creamy, and they also blend really well with water. They are water reactive, so they should work really well once I spray them. And there's no rhyme or reason why I'm adding it in certain areas. I want to show you what I'm doing on one side, and then... I will do the same thing in the other. I don't want to, like, I don't need to show you everything. So I'm going to spray the page. And it's starting to react with the water, as you can see. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe. And I'm going to kind of remove stuff to where I don't want the ink to be. And leave it at the edges, which is where I do. But what I like is that it's blending really nicely together. And if I think that I want more, I can always add more and blend it again. Okay, so I let this dry up and truly I wanted to give up on this one because I thought it looked really ugly, but when it dried up, I actually really like it. It looked better than I thought. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the purple here and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I didn't think it would look that good. I was trying to figure out why, why it was all messed up, but once it dried up, it really looked good. I really liked how it looked. So I'm quite happy with the results, even though I almost went to toss these papers in the garbage. I don't know what it was about them. I thought to myself, oh, this does not look so nice. This looks like horrible. But once I was able to kind of get over the mixed colors because what problem the problem that I have usually is that I like I'm very monochromatic and what I do 
it's really hard for me to mix a lot of colors that are that are like not the same so to put like pink like fuchsia with blue I just don't mix these colors together that's I think where my problem is and I have to kind of get over that that fear that things don't look good so we all have our thing right like I'm trying to I'm trying to to mix colors that I think in my head don't go well together even though I see other people using them but I just I always afraid to use colors that I don't think look good together so I have to basically get over that fear and look at this this looks really really cool it actually really does and what I'm thinking is I'm going to add a little bit of black in the edges to frame to frame this this is a good great way an easy way of doing this of actually framing something so and I don't want it to look perfect so I want it to be a bit dark at the edges but blended if you know what I mean so to kind of make it look like it's part of the design there we go I think the bottom here was too wet that's why it, it didn't blend as well and yes I'm using my fingers if you don't like doing that then just use gloves and it's starting to look a little bit better I am too afraid sometimes I guess to mix colors in together and I shouldn't be I should just do things that I feel go well and even if they don't it doesn't really matter it's just experimenting so that is basically the background for me I actually thought hmm, I wonder if I could just stamp things as well maybe I could stamp I wonder if I could stamp with black I'm thinking maybe if I get my my stamp and maybe add some pattern as well with the same ones that I had already used let's see Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So more the more layers I add, I mean, I guess I'm liking it more. Because the texture makes a difference. I'm going to maybe add it this direction as well. Just a little bit of the pattern. That looks really cool. So sometimes it's just basically adding texture, adding more stuff to it. You don't only have to do the gel plate. It can be done with other mediums. I've never done the gel plate with sprays. So I think that's a pretty cool technique in my opinion I'm sure somebody has done it I'm not the first one I just I just don't try not to look at videos of other people because I always worry they're gonna say I copy them so I try my best not to look I only look at the videos from my friends and yeah and just try to oh I really like this okay great so so you have this and then I took the one of the trees one of the trees and I actually colored it with the black so all I went in is I just colored this on top one of those art journaling trees this is a uh, this comes there comes for uh, three of them they are watercolor papers and they're perfect to any embellishments there's lots of different designs and the trees are new and they're laser cut and they're perfect for adding 
something here. Yeah, I like this. It looks like a forest. I'm almost thinking maybe we should add an. Should I add another tree? I think just one is good enough. And I'm going to add some saying on the other side. Sorry, this is a mess. I need to wipe my hands as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this to the background and then add a little saying. So I can use some soft gel. I can use some soft gel to do this. And I could add more things. I mean, this is not ending. I could really add a lot of things, but I just choose not to do not to do it continue because it just becomes like a huge long video and i just want people to see that it, things can be done so i'm just going to add some of the gel and um this gel reacts with water so to seal it you might need to sp i might need to spray this i spray this with some kind of sealant or with hairspray it's a good idea the sprays are permanent but the art crayons are not. I think they still react with water once you once you add them. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put this tree, which I love trees. I love adding trees onto my onto projects. So you see what I mean? They still react. So I would need to, I do need to somehow seal this with a hairspray. For my saying, for my sentiment, I have this. This is a Dilusions coloring sheet. And they have like different sayings on them. So I'm going to use this one that says change for no one and believe in who you are. I'm going to cut this up and because this is like basically watercoloring sheet I could actually watercolor them with the actual crayons and what color should I think purple will look really good look at the mess I have behind here so I could use this to basically watercolor this not watercolor you know what I mean like color it in and then just basically you can use the crayons for basically anything and I'm gonna cut these out okay I want both colors in there okay perfect and then these will go here but I want to cut these out So I just use the same gel medium to glue it. A very simple art journal, very, but it's loaded with techniques, I guess. There's a lot, a lot of techniques. And I could also, one thing I, you can do also, and this is important with art journaling, is to actually art journal, is to actually journal about it. So I could go ahead and write on the edges. I don't know. So I'm going to journal. I'm going to use my foodable pen. And sometimes you don't even actually have to journal. You could just pretend you're journaling. And make some scribbles. Pretending as if it's lines. And it makes it look really cool. I learned this from my friend Didi. Who... Just said, okay, just make like funny lines. And sometimes this runs out of ink when you're using it on a journaling page. Okay, there we go. And you can also journal on the edges. And it's not really working. I need another pot of pen. So I'm going to use my Posca pen and try to do it with this one.
and also you can I could highlight these I could doodle a little bit so these Posca pens are really cool as well but any type of mixed media acrylic marker will work so this is my art journal using the marabou sprays and crayons and a lot of joggles watercoloring the disc bound watercolor journal and also the the watercolor laser cut piece i'm going to put this back in my journal just to show you how easily it is to do that but i'm going to clean everything first before i put this in my journal i want to show you these really cool baby wipes that i created while I was wiping off the purple and the blue from the crayons. So the, I tend to save these because these are great to actually create another art journal. You can use it as a background. You can die cut it once it's dry. So these are really nice. They almost look like tie dye. You can use it for card backgrounds. So always keep really nice ones if you can. This is, um, I'm going to put now this back in the journal. I really like how this turned out. And it's really easy to just pop it back in. It's so easy. And I like the size of this journal. It's a great one. I'm going to link that, of course, everything below, like I said. Everything is a little bit damp still. So once it's dry, it will stiffen up a little bit better. So basically, this is it. Thank you so, so much for coming and visiting me today on my youtube channel again if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would love for you to share it with your friends on social media and comment and just ask me questions i always answer everybody's questions so thank you so much and have an amazing day bye